collaborating around my book of poetry called the Brown Beat Neck Tones. So I guess that's the name of the collaboration, I guess. Uh, it came about we had a mutual friend who thought that we should get together and talk about the nonprofit that he was beginning and my book, his book, and doing something together. So we had dinner at Ron's house, which is like a perfect setting because he's full of art and full of spirit. And, we and good food. And really good food. All right. And we sat down and we talked and we decided that we wanted to work together. First thing I had to do was see the words. You know, when you, when you think of musicians playing with poets, most people just think musicians just play, you know. For me, it's important to understand the speed of the words. It's important to understand what, what words the poet uh, emphasizes, where he makes the commas, where he makes the pauses in the sentence less. And once I see that, once he reads it for me, I can make my music fit his tone of voice. I don't think of poetry as poetry per se. For me, it's lyrics to a song. And my job is to find the right melody at that moment that makes those lyrics be even more valuable to the listener as well as to both of us. The toxic Negro crawl injured sputtered fumes. And for me, it presents another, another platform. Not only am I dealing with the context of the lyrics, but this image that's kind of married to these words that gives me another palette with which I can find hopefully an additional melody mm -hmm. or additional, additional tempo or additional volume yeah. with which I can make these paintings have another life in connection with the words that belong to this picture and the sounds I can make from the bass that make them go like this. That's my aim.